Hello guys! Continuing my Kibi type series. If you're new, you can check my Kibi playlist. I'm gonna leave the link down below so you would know what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about vertical line, what it is, and height of the body types. How important that is when you're analyzing your own body. It is important to some degree, but we don't have to forget still about yin and yang balance in the body. It's the most important things. There are just very regular things, like for example, the tallest types are normally flamboyant natural, soft dramatic, and dramatic. Those are the tallest. You can see sometimes dramatic women standing next to flamboyant natural woman, and flamboyant natural can be taller than dramatic. But we are not comparing one type to another type. We are analyzing one type within this type, within this body, within this one body. That's why David Kibbit, he did say things about the height in his test. And I'm gonna now read you what, he, what in the book he says about the height of each type. Vertical line is how you appear, how long you appear to be, how tall you look like. It's not very easy to say about yourself because sometimes mirrors that you're looking at, they are angled. Sometimes you can't quite evaluate your true proportions. So sometimes you have to rely on something what other people, for example, tell you. But there is one tricky thing here, because you can change the appearance of a vertical line, let's say on the red carpet, with the right light, with the right camera, you can look taller or smaller, just the way you want. You can trick with makeup, you can trick with hair, you can trick with long, long dress. For example, a woman can wear long dress, she can make long hair, standing up like that, updo right? Long dress. Underneath the dress, she has that high heels that are covered with this dress. And then she knows how to stand. Let's say she's standing like that, slightly from a side. She puts her arm like that. Another arm she puts down her leg. One of her legs stands like this. One of her legs stands like that. So it's also... And people are like, yeah, she's tall. And then they think that the bone, the, the, the kibi type of this person is, for example, I don't know, flamboyant natural, dramatic or something. I've heard somebody said, look at Lady Gaga, how long her vertical line is. She has long vertical line. No, not at all. This is a red carpet with the certain dress, with everything made you to think so. If you see this person just in her regular clothes, just in front of you, you will see how short her vertical line really is, how short her limbs are. And she's flamboyant gamine. And it's very important to keep that in mind when you're typing somebody or you're typing yourself. There are loads of people who are moderate in size and who look moderate. They don't look too tall, they don't look too small, so the variety of types that they can be is pretty big. I'm gonna now read you the parts of the book about each type where Kibi says about their height. So Kibi says in the test that dramatic is normally moderate to tall, usually five feet, five inches and over. You don't see dramatic with short limbs. It's not dramatic then. Soft dramatic, moderate to tall, usually five feet, five inches and over. Yeah, these women are pretty soft, but they're also tall or they look tall. If you look at them, their legs, their arms, they look long. Romantic, moderate to petite, usually five feet, five inches and under. Romantic is considered to be one of the smallest types. Okay, theatrical romantic, moderate to petite, usually five feet, five inches and under, like romantic, basically. Classic, moderate, usually between five feet, four inches and five feet, seven inches. So classics are between five, four and five, seven, normally, usually, he says usually. Soft classic, moderate up to five feet five inches as far as we already have some romantic undercurrent in soft classic we can say that she is she can be smaller they normally are smaller dramatic classic moderate up to five feet seven inches he says up to five feet seven inches because as i can see this if a woman is five feet seven and more she just can't look moderate anymore her width or the size of her head can't be that big to balance the height as i can see this this is when the height becomes so obvious so you can't say that this person looks moderate 
So she looks more like classic, for example, or naturals. They are also more moderate in size, you see? So that is another thing to consider. For example, this model, Lily Eldridge, right? Yeah, David Kibbe said that most, the majority of 90s supermodels and just modern supermodels are flamboyant naturals because they do have this long vertical line. But Lily Eldridge, in Kibbe's list, she is dramatic classic because of the overall look, you know? And also dramatic classics can be slightly taller. Natural moderate to slightly tall up to five feet eight inches you see so naturals can be quite tall up to five feet eight inches but they're still don't have that long vertical line like flamboyant naturals this is their difference naturals look more squarish than long soft natural moderate to slightly small up to five feet seven inches so soft naturals can be slightly smaller they will have Natural's bone structure, but they can be slightly smaller. Flamboyant natural, moderate to very tall, usually 5 feet 5 inches and over. Gamine, 5 feet 5 inches and under. Gamine is just one of those smaller people. Again, 5'5 five five and smaller. Soft gamine, under 5 feet 5 inches, usually very petite. Also, he says, 5'5 five five and smaller. And normally, they are very petite. So they can be very small. Flamboyant gamine, 5 feet 6 inches and under. So he gives flamboyant gamines some height. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Subscribe on my Pinterest for 13 boards as an inspiration for the body types. Also, you can subscribe on my Instagram. All the links I'm going to leave down below. Also, you can become my sponsor or subscribe on my Patreon for some exclusive videos, some early access to these videos, and um, just if you want to support me and my channel. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.